In the United States, millions of people live with diabetes, especially older adults. The gold standard is the use of glucometers, where people need to prick their finger multiple times a day, and this is a very painful process. New technologies like a continuous glucose monitoring are available right now and allow you to use a succotaniel needle on the arm to continuous monitor the glucose. However, this technology generates a lot of weights, also it's costly, and people need to change the device every 10 to 15 days. So what is the solution? How we can help older adults to monitor glucose? Kennedy State University and the IoT as Service Research Group are developing a new technology, a non-invasive device for monitoring glucose without needles and without blood. It is GlucoCheck. Our group has the hope to help a lot of older adults to go to this travel of managing diabetes without pain. And we are developing this technology thanks to the National Institute of Aging and also the University of Pennsylvania. The current GlucoCheck model uses a Raspberry Pi 4. Attached to it is a camera diode and a 650 nanometer laser diode, which both of them are connected to a finger clamp, which the patient can insert their finger into. After inserting the finger, the device will run a script that asks the patient for some basic identification information, then it turns on the laser and camera diode, captures the image data, transforms the image data into inputs for the model, runs the model, and then outputs the predicted glucose value. We also have Alexa voice integration and a mobile app to go with GlucoCheck. In the app, users can view a graphical representation of their glucose values over different periods of time. Users can simply click a picture of an upcoming meal and the app will automatically recognize the type of food that is about to be consumed so that users may be more aware of the calories that they're intaking. As per Alexa EcoDot, user can access GlucoCheck via voice assistant like Amazon Alexa, which offers an alternative for users to access data hands-free without interacting with visual interfaces. Welcome to GlucoCheck. What would you want to request? What is my current value? The last glucose value is 111 on August 3rd, 2023 at 1425. Well, the current work we're doing at the IoT lab at Kennesaw State University is trying to include more variables and features that are potentially relevant to the accuracy of the model. These include the skin thickness, temperature, skin tone, and humidity. So potentially when we feed these features to the model, we'll be able to rule out the conditions under which it is underperforming and offer better guidance to the user on how to take the right pictures for the best performance. 